Good morning. Welcome to Osmania Journalism. This is Ritika. The Department of Journalism and Mass Communication is introducing news bulletin. Here with the latest news. The United States Energy Department intelligence report is adding fuel to the ongoing rift between China and the USA. Two trains slamming into each other in Greece claimed approximately 36 lives. Nigeria gets its new president, Bola Tinubu. India maintained its vertex position in internet shutdowns for the fifth year in row in 2022. Turkey may go into national elections on May 40. The G20 meeting at Azol will commence today. Rajasthan State Cabinet approved control of Organized Crime Bill 2023. Three northeastern states, counting for votes, starts at 8 p.m. India gives green light to the largest ever hydropower project of 31,876 crores in Anranchal Pradesh near China border. Commercial LPG cylinder prices hiked by 35 rupees. Domestic cylinder prices have been increased by 50 rupees. Three new gold mines have been found in Odisha. Osmania University Human Capital for Development Center has successfully conducted two workshops on digital journalism and digital toxicity. Now, news in brief. China dismisses the report of USA which said that COVID-19 pandemic may have been a result of poor facility management from a Chinese laboratory responding to the comments by Federal Bureau of Investigation Director Christopher Ray in an interview with Fox News. Chinese Foreign Ministry spokeswoman Ma Ning said that the involvement of the US intelligence community was evidence enough of the politicization of origin tracing. Head on collision of the passenger train and a cargo train in Greece on Tuesday night, killing at least 36 people and injuring 85 as the country's deadliest rail crash indicates three entire carriages of the tracks. The cause of the deadliest rail crash in the Greece indicates remained unclear. The Electoral Commission has declared ruling party candidate Bola Tinubu winner of the Nigeria's presidential election. The 78-year-old veteran politician got 37% of the vote. Official results show. His main rival, Atiku Abubkar, polled 29% and Labour's Peter Obai, uh, 25% each. According to the Access Now's 2022 report, around half of the total 187 shutdowns may, means 84 shutdowns took place in India. This is the fifth consecutive year the world's largest democracy of more than 1.4 billion people have troped the list. Digital rights advocacy group Access Now's 2022 report, which covers total blackouts, the suspension of the particular phone networks or social media apps, and the slowing down of the internet connections was compiled technical evaluations, news articles and personal testimony. Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan national elections will be held on May 14th. Sticking to see his previous plans for the vote over the day just over three months after devastating earthquakes killed more than 45,000 people in Turkey. There has been conflicting signs over the likely timing of the presidential and parliamentary elections since last month earthquakes, with some suggesting they could be postponed until later in the year or could be held as scheduled on the June 18. Mizoram capital Aizol is going to host a G20 meeting at Mizoram University campus. Many participants and delegates across the globe arrived to attend the meeting with which commence at 11.30 a.m. and continue till Saturday. Rajasthan Control of Organized Crime Bill 2023, a bill proposing austere actions against organized crime that include a minimum of five-year jail term for sheltering gang members, death penalty or life imprisonment and a fine of one lakh rupees on the death of the victim, was approved by the Rajasthan State Cabinet on Wednesday. Meghalaya, Tripura and Nagaland vote counting started at 8 a.m. All three states witnessed the highest voter outturn in the elections that took place last month. Tripura recorded 89.95%, Nagaland recorded 85.9%, Meghalaya saw 85.27 voter turnout according to the exit polls connected by Hindustan Times. BJP and its ally Nationalist Democratic Progress Party is expected to win. National People's Party is expected to win in Meghalaya. The Tripura is expected to witness BJP coming into power again.
2880 megawatt dam is located in Dibang River. The river, the central government has approved an estimated investment of 319 billion rupees for the project. Developed by the state-run National Hydroelectric Power Corporation, which is project projected to get completed in nine years with the primary objective to serve flood control. This is a second price hike of the year, which took place amidst a steep price in the global crude oil and fuel prices due to the Russian invasion of Ukraine. Odisha's Steel and Mines Minister Prafil Malik on Monday stated in its state assembly on Monday, gold mines were found in three different locations of three states three districts in Odisha. HCTC collaborated with Google News Initiative, Delegate Sudhakar Reddy Udumula and conducted a workshop on data journalism and fact-checking on 28th of February. Another workshop on digital toxicity and digital well-being was conducted on 1st March. Students from Siddhi Pete Osmania University and English Foreign Language University, St. George College for Women have attended the workshop. That's all we have from our today's newsroom. This is Ritika from Journalism Department signing off.